Hi guys, this is Rich, and I was watching a really cool video here on YouTube. There's a guy in Brazil, he made a uh, solar hot water heater using uh, plastic uh, two liter bottles, it looks like. And he just cuts the bottoms out, and he puts them all together to make your chamber for your pipe to go through. It's really cool, he has them up on a roof, and there's like 200 bottles, it's like 200 gallons of water or more he's heating. Really neat if you check it out. But I thought I'm going to try to build me one, and I'm going to use... Um, just small water bottles. I've got a bunch of these bottles around. Uh, but first I'm just going to take a um, small plastic tube, PVC, and paint it black, stick it down in my bottle here, and um, put a temperature probe in the top, and set it outside and see what it does. Now, I mean, if I get a good temp, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to build me a small one for test. So right now it's at 58.6. I just now brought it out. I'm going to let it go for a little bit and see what the temp okay, is Okay, it's like. been like 15 minutes. And uh, look at that, temp's already up to 116. Okay, it's been about a half hour with that probe stuck down in that bottle. And uh, it's at 135. What I did is went and uh, bought me some PVC and a bunch of tea, about 10 teas, and I cut little things off. So what I'm going to do is put these all together. But, you know, I'm going to glue them. And, uh, And then I'm going to cut whatever length uh, I want here uh, for my bottle, for my bottle size, which is about two foot. Okay, I went ahead and uh, I glued these all together here. And what will happen is, you'll just take your uh, bottles, slide them on there, all the way down. But first, I'm going to paint this. Okay, the way I'm doing my bottles is I'm just uh, cutting off the bottoms. And what happens is just put it right there, and these bottles seem to snap together good like that. And I cut off the bottom here, and I'll do the next. I'm only using like four bottles each. Okay, I got all my bottles done. They're on here. Next thing to do, I'll take my ends and I'll I have to glue them on there with some um, PVC glue. Okay, there, got everything glued and painted. I got it all capped off, and I got a top here. It's red. This is going to be for the hot water to rise. And over here, I got this one for the cold water to just go down to the bottom and I think I'm going to use starting out I'm just going to use a um, this coffee can uh, coffee plastic coffee can to um, hook it in there and see if the flow and what the heat is and also I'm going to I took some pop cans and uh, cut out and glued them together and made like a little shield here and I'm going to stick that behind behind each one to re help reflect the heat you know onto that back of that pipe. There it is I got this one done and um, it's all ready to go. I got it hooked up and I covered my coffee can. I actually put a little temperature probe on it that I'll just set down in when I put water down in there and we'll see how that goes but it's still the middle of winter here so I gotta wait for a halfway sunny day maybe I'll take it down to the lake and test it but what I thought I'd do I'd make another one like the normal type one that people make and um, I'm using PVC in this one too I'm using three quarter inch because I had I had some laying around here so I didn't have to buy nothing but connectors but what I'm doing is I just laid it in the box and I have metal flashing right here as a background and I uh, use pieces of pop can, I don't know if you can see it, and um, put them down over the pipe for flashing to draw it the heat because, you know, I know the PVC is not the best thing to use. I mean, copper is too expensive for me to just play around with. And I don't get enough sun here to, to use one. But I like to see how they work. And this way we'll know how each of them work if I can find me a good day.
Okay, we're going to have a sunny day today, they said. It's 52 degrees, about the middle of March. Uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, the sun's about right there. So I'm hoping to catch it when it gets over in here, around that way. I have my uh, two heater set up for test. And I put water in them, just brought them out here. And we'll see how they flow and see what kind of temp they, they, they keep. Here's this other one. I end up using a... Uh, just a little cooler for the for the water and stuff. So we'll check it every hour and see how it does. Okay. It's been about three hours. I wasn't able to come back out here because I have another project that's been keeping me busy since August the 4th. Little Miss Harmony May there. But anyways, here's the temperature at 80. And it was at um, 75 or something. So it has one up. What I'm going to do is I drop food coloring down in there so I can see through the clear pipes if it's working and there it's, it's on both ends. So what I'm going to do is drop some green down in there to mix with the mix with that yellow so we can actually see the flow. And there's a tube and we should see it come down through there if it's um, if it's flowing. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's a good color. Nice, pretty blue. That looks good. Okay. And do the same thing over here on this one. This is at 97, and it was at about 90. But I have yellow in there, so I'm going to drop this green down in there. And uh, should start going. Flowing down through here, let's see. Yep, there it is. So this actually seems like it's going a little fast. There we go, it's been about 10 minutes, and there you can see that it's flowed all the way up through there. That's cool. And the same with this one. There it is. There's a, if you can see the color, bluish, greenish color. I'm sure if it was better, a little hotter sun, I get way higher temps, but it's still a little cool outside. I'm about to lose my sun. But it was a pretty cool test. This one's at 99.9, so it did rise probably almost 10 degrees since I put out here. And this one's at 88.6, 78. That one's actually seemed like it rose more, more than this one. Anyways, that's cool. A good test. If I got really good sun, I would build me a big one. But I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna. Mess with some vacuum tubes next. Test them out. I heard they're really cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.